how to build a CRM using ClickUp in 2021. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own CRM using ClickUp. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to ClickUp.com and this is how the homepage will look like. And what I want you guys to do is just simply sign up. And you can sign up by clicking on the sign up button over here at the top right corner. So click on the sign up button and over here, just in, simply enter in your full name, your email address, and then a password, and then just simply click on play with ClickUp. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will catch you guys in a little bit. So to sign up, all you have to do is just simply enter in your name, your email address, and then a password, and then just simply click on play with ClickUp, or you can just sign up with SSO. And once you click on it, you can just simply sign up with Google. But if you don't want to, you can just go ahead and enter in your, all the information manually. But I'm going to go ahead and sign up with SSO since it's much, much faster. It saves a lot of time and it's much more effective as well. You can just simply sign up with a click of a button. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. OK, so over here, as you can see, I've done it. Now we just have to fill out some of the information and then we can move on. So as you can see over here, it's, uh, the website is welcoming us. So let's do that. This is going to be my workspace name. And over here, we can customize our workspace avatar. I'm going to go with the red one. I, or you can just simply drop in an image if you want and then choose your favorite theme color. I'm going to go with black. And then over here, you can just simply add in all the people that you are that are going to be working with you. So uh, since it's just me and since uh, I'm just like, you know, explaining to you how it will basically work, I'm going to keep it just me or no, I'm just going to go with I don't know. So over here, then you can just simply invite some of the people that you want to work with. So however you want to do it, just simply enter in with your email address or you can paste multiply. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of my other emails that I have specifically prepared for this type of scenario so that I don't have to like, you know, spam my main account, which I have prepared specifically for these type of scenarios so that my main accounts don't get spammed with these type of invites. So I'm going to go ahead and add my emails. Now, all you have to do is just simply customize how you work by enabling kick up apps. So you can have like priorities, tags, custom feeds, multiple assignees, time estimate, time tracking, task in multiple lists, milestones and sprint. I'm going to I'm going to add time tracking as well, because sometimes, you know, you have to track some of their time so that you know where what your employees and assignees are doing. So everything looks good. Stand by. They're getting things ready. And once it's done. So over here, as you can see, we have some like templates that we can pick from or we can go ahead and explore all templates. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So over here, what, what you want to do is find a template that is most suitable for you. So you're basically trying to make a CRM, right? So you have to like find some something that's similar. These are all project managers getting started. So let me just search for CRM. So over here, as you can see, we have a couple of different CRMs. So we have simple CRMs. We have hiring candidate, customer services, CRM. So let me just choose this one as well. And then I'll create one for myself just so that you can know how to do that. So do you want to include archive tags? Yes, but no, yes, keep them archived, use template. So over here, as you can see, this is the CRM that I just imported. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. So you have your customers, you have, and they've, you know, marked them with lost customers. You have one customers, you have opportunities, and then you have leads. And then this is going to be the simple CRM over here, as you can see. And then over here, you have two tasks as well over here, as you can see. So, or you can just go ahead and change the to boards view. And I like boards because sometimes it's more easier. You know, you have, you have everything in front of you uh, and everything is pretty simple and easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to list view because this is how it is. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. So basically CRMs are supposed to look like this, but I'm going to go ahead and create another one and I'm going to show you how you can basically do that. So the, you can create some spaces over here or you can click on home. And over here, what I want you guys to do, so you have spaces over here. So what, what you can do is like, you can like create a new space. I'm going to click on a new space and I'm going to like give it a name CRM. And then I'm going to click on next. And this is going to be the color avatar of this one. And then you can like, you know, choose if you want this folder or space to be shared with the into all the people that are added to your workspace, or you can keep it private. It depends upon you and just simply add in the people that you want. So I'm going to keep it private for now. 
because that's just how I feel like it. And then you can like simply add in some custom status or custom templates. As you can see, this is how it's going to look like. Since it's a CRM, I'm going to I'm going to change the to do list to tasks and I'm going to click on complete it. And then I'm going to click on next. And these are all the things that I want. These are all the click apps that I need in the CRM and click on review space. So as you can see, this is it. This is task statuses, the avatar, the users, the space name. Everything looks good. Simply click on create space. So now that we have a space, now we can go ahead and we can add some tasks. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new space for you guys so you can understand. So I'm basically not going to create a space. I'm going to create a folder. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to name this folder CRM. And then over here in list, what I want to do is remove the custom ones and add in. So I'm going to write customers. I'm going to write projects and then I'm going to write services. And once we've done that, we can just simply click on done. And what I want to do is share it with these people. No, I want to keep it private done because that's how I feel like it. Like you can add in more people as you want. You can, you know, make it public or you can like keep it private and share it with only the people that you want to share it with. But I'm going to keep it private since no one is here. And it's only me and then what i want to do is like you know we have customs and we have new spaces so what you can do is like you can go over to custom and you can like new template and you can like add in the crm and once you click on it and you can change the to-do list to active and closed i'm going to change the color from red and for close i'm going to remain keep it green and in progress i'm going to keep it purple okay everything looks good save it create a folder and as you can see this is how it looks like so over here as you can see we have customers projects and services what you can do now is like you can add in different tasks name add in different customers name add in different project name and then services and i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i will catch you guys in a little bit so as you can see i've added some of the customers over here and what i want you guys to do is also add in some of the more attributes as well like you can add in some like status as well so you can see that these customers are active so let me just change it this one to closed as well so that we can see that it's done and once it's done it'll go back to its own feed now let's undo it and bring it back so 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 as you can see it's back and then what i want you guys to do is just simply add in a couple of project names and then services so as you can see i've added a couple of different projects and some services as well now what you can do is like you can also like add in assignees to that project or service and then those assignees will be responsible for that service and then you can also add in due dates like you can add in uh, many, many things like over here. I just uh, I forgot to act save that one as well. So as you can see, this is saved one to the tray as of right now. You can like assign, an, assign a person to it and then a person will be responsible for this project. And they will have to set up a meeting with Cassandra, our customer, as you can see. So it's basically just like this, like it's pretty simple to create one, but you don't have to do that as I showed you before. So if you like, you know, you can work with a pre-made custom template, you can go ahead and do that. Like as you can see over here, how this template works. If we click over here, this is going to be showing us how a template basically works. You can like edit them and stuff like that. So let's just go back to our list over here. As you can see, this is how it will look like. Now, if you don't like this, you can add in more templates as you want. Just simply click on over here and template center, browse template. And over here, just simply search for CRM and all these types of uh, templates will pop up. So it'll be pretty good. Like, And you don't have to like, you know, keep it on the list you can like you know change it to more folders as well so as you can see we have a couple of different more so you can like choose whichever one you want it doesn't really matter like if you want to save time and then you can like edit them out as well like if you want to like edit the, this person's name you can like rename it click on this person and then rename it's his name and then that's basically it you can add in more attributes to this to the tasks or slates that is basically it that is how you simply create a crm on ClickUp. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.